<laughs> Hello and happy gaming everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and I think today we're gonna show how a shield can be done. Permafrost Bulwark is still leaving a, leaving a bit of a bad taste in my mouth, so I figured it's time to do a run where we show what a shield can actually do. So today we're gonna use we're gonna use Vortex Veil. So we've used it a little bit in a different video, but just to give you an idea. It's just surrounding with a ring of vortex winds that damage and knock back enemies. This is how a shield should be done. Everything else is pretty bog standard. Bolt rail, dragon arc, me burping, and the old teleporty. We're going to be using the shift robe and because what we're, what we're using goes very well with movement speed, we're going to be using the equester cap. That's also going to perform a secondary function of just making it easier to dodge attacks. Thank you, Jade. And we're off. And of course we start in, we start we start in wind place where the wind spell won't do a whole lot. Isn't that just wind tacular? Mm. See, now that's the sort of defense that I can get down with. A defense that actually, you know, matters. Now, I don't know if it blocks projectiles, but right now that's not even necessarily my, prim my primary driving, driving goal with wanting to use this. I just wanted to use a shield that didn't suck. And I'm sure there's going to be some of you out there going, but Vortex, <laughs> not Vortex Veil, Permafrost Bulwark doesn't suck, you suck, sucker. You suck as much as a as a sucker being sucked on by a sucker fish. To which I will respond, first of all, show me proof that you've seen a sucker fish sucking on a sucker. Second of all, I will remind you that I, I did say that I might not be using that spell correctly. But even whether I was or wasn't, it just wasn't doing it for me. This isn't necessarily a game of who's right and who's wrong, it's about about how well you can use it. I feel I showcased it enough to, <clears throat> to give people an idea of whether or not it would be for them. And I used it long enough to, let, to know for certain that it wasn't for me. There we go. Alright. Oh, Iris, you shouldn't have. Oh my goodness. Upgraded bolt rail. Upgraded vort. Up, upgraded. Upgraded what? Uprooted. Uprooted. Uptooted. Upstooted. Updooted. <clears throat> and generally non polluted. So, yes, that makes Vortex Veil last longer, and it also. And it also makes it, yeah, it just makes it generally better. It's a very, again, the idea is very simple. And it's one of those spells that goes well with a fast movement rate build or a critical hit build. Because, I mean, as you can see, it hits frequently. So for your shift and awe rope builds, you've got yourself a little bit of protection. Get out of here. I don't like your face, sir. My friend, he doesn't like you. Sorry, I don't like you. Okay, yeah, Vortex Veil is definitely a shield done right. It's like the difference between Leaf Shield in Mega Man 2 versus the Jewel Satellite in Mega Man 9. One of these is very clearly how a shield is supposed to be done, and the other one is, you know, God bless it, it's trying. It does great against Air Man, but oh, I'm a dummy. Beautiful dragon arcing. 
Oh look, the boss room! <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Yes, the bird just wanted to say hello. I'd say after that super long monster train video, I I think this is just a nice a nice little return to form for both the birds and myself. Ouch! I'm sorry, sir. I did not give you permission to do that. All right, and I now have my answer. No vortex veil does not stop projectiles, so you just got to be careful. Um, I see the magician's top hat. I'll grab it, but. The slower activation speed of my spells leaves me feeling a little nervous. Especially since one of my spells, or actually all of my spells, are multi-hit. So it would be one thing if it, if it was just a bunch of single-hit spells, and it's like, yeah, they activate a little bit slower, but it's not like we're putting that increased activation time between every hit of a multi-hit spell. I mean, get real, that would just be ridiculous, right? Right? Why, why, is, why is everyone laughing at me? Oh, look, the unicorn in disguise again! I mean, I'm kind of wondering if that's just the most common, most common costume. I get it a lot. Could have something to do with the idea that I frequently take Quester Cap. Get out of here, Archer. See, now, actually, that works out really well. So, Vortex Veil works great against Counter Rogue. You just activate it and then be like, Come on, buddy. Come and get it. Come and get me. Oh, what's that? Sharp wind cut your tongue? <laughs> Maybe that'll learn you not to do that. Despite what you might be thinking, it is not Sierra Mist because my local grocery store was actually out of Sierra Mist Zero. So this is Sprite Zero. Isn't that basically just Sierra Mist by a different name? Actually, I think a lot of people would say that Sierra Mist is Sprite by a different name. I mean, it's... I'm not, I'm not going to bat for one or the other, I think they're both tasty. They both they both fulfill that desire for a lemon-lime-based caffeine-free soda. Oh my god, he says soda, why doesn't he say pop? Oh, would you prefer I call it a Coke? All I'm all I'm getting at with that is that there is no right or wrong way to to call to call to call your pop or your cola or whatever a pop. It just it is what it is. Anyone trying to say that their way of saying pop or soda or whatever is right or wrong, y'all apparently just you must be one of those people that says that there's only one proper type of pizza pop. Well, duh, everyone knows that the only pizza toppings are pepperoni and black olives. It's real funny, but I'm sure you meant pineapple and Canadian bacon. Hold on, I like onions, mushrooms, and cheddar cheese. That will actually boost the damage of my basics, so I'm all for it. And should I happen to find other decent electric arcana, hey, it'll just work well for those too. Hey, here's a room I haven't been to yet. Yeah, yeah, Vortex Veil is just great. It's it's a spell that can be used both offensively and defensively. Like I said, it's a shield done right. It is definitely the jewel satellite to Mega Man 2's Leaf Shield. Eh, 
And again, no no disrespect to Leaf Shield, because, I mean, bless its heart, it's trying. But Jewel Satellite just did everything that Leaf Shield did, but better. And then Water Shield came along and said, Yeah, what if I did this whole shield thing, but made it so that every piece of the shield was destructible, so it never lasted very long. And we all kind of said, well, you have a use against Solar Man, and that's about it. Now piss off, Water Shield. No, it was still more useful than Leaf Shield, because it would still travel with you. Hello, Taffy. Um, this is such a weird spell, but I'll take it just because it is weird. I don't know, I'm not the biggest connoisseur of the Frozen Bait spell, but... I mean, it's another spell to use, and it is something that can distract enemies' attention away from me. Which... You know, you think about what my build is doing, I don't want it to do that. I want the enemies to run into my Vortex Veil and... feel stupid afterwards. Hey guys, I'm gonna get him! Ow! It's like, yeah, maybe you don't do that next time. I don't even know if it hit, not gonna lie, I have no idea if it hit anything or not. That time I saw it hit something, but god, it's just such an awkward spell. But, like I said, it does distract regular mobs away from you, so in tight situations, get yourself a little bit, a little bit of a decoy, just a good get-off-me move. Oh, I was going to go back and get Knockout Boulder. Oops. Actually, it's probably best that I didn't, because it wouldn't be very effective against... ...against Atlas anyway, and I know he's coming up next. So much worse. I managed managed to do it with gusto, even. Whee! Ah! Oh, then I teleported right into the breaking twister like an absolute fool. Isn't that spell weird? I very rarely use frozen bait, and when I do, I'm not sure whether or not I love it or hate it. It's nice to know that the initial bait throw actually does damage, so you can initiate the the stagger the stagger on the bosses that way. So scales of Babylon, when you when you use that, you create just a big just a big damaging bubble, and it increases your movement speed for a little while based on how many enemies you hit with it. So I mean. If you ever wanted to just see pure ridiculousness, that's how you do it. Plus, it slows them down, so you're basically stealing their speed. That it's a good area of effect spell. Like, I have very, very few negative things to say about that. Yes, you will give me the token of health. That increases my armor. Immediately pressing forward into an attack will guard the attack and heal at low health, right half of the Ancestral Gauntlets. So here's the thing with that, with that, it's basically acting like a parry from like Street Fighter 3. I get how it works, I'm just not very good at it, so. I'm just going to leave that right where it is. I will take Yuffie Shawl though.
Haha! Okay, I'm kind of digging frozen bait right now, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, you silly monkey. You thought you could get me with your own version of Permafrost Bulwark? Come on now. Only difference is yours is actually kind of good. Kind of. But it still has the same problem. It's got a cooldown afterwards, and it's real easy to... Real easy to just step out of the way and then slap... Then slap them right afterwards. Sprite is giving me carbonation gas. And on that note, both the Earth Shield that the enemies, that the Earth Knights here use, and Permafrost Bulwark, they both remind me of Hero's Kaklang move in Smash Brothers. It's one of those things that's supposed, that's kind of touted as this great defense. Then you use it and you go, oh yeah, all that's really happening is I'm being held still for a while until the, until my opponent has a chance to just slap me and punish me for trying to use that defensive move. Yes, it would have done more damage if I had been using Bolt Rail while I was hitting with the Vortex Veil. But you know what? I didn't think of that until it was too late. Of course, that, that only really works if they're up against a wall. If they're not up against a wall, then you just keep bouncing them along and hopefully walk them into a pit. Alright, I really like Vortex Veil. Vortex Veil succeeds where Permafrost Bulwark fails, if you ask me. Oh, hello. This room just upsets me. Hello, Nocturne. No, I don't want to give up Vortex Veil, but I mean, thanks for at least asking first. Wall is too thick, I can't teleport through it. Damn! Oh no, you mean the wall is acting like a wall? What will they think of next? I think what they'll think of next is a TV dinner that has <laughs> that doesn't have the one item you never want to eat. That's what they'll think of next. When? Eh, give them a decade or two. See, that wall is just a suggestion. It's not thick enough to keep me out. Um, oh, I see bouncing bubbles. You know I've got to take that. That's one of those spells that falls into the category of must-take. Matter of fact, I definitely think that goes over Frozen Bait. Even though I, I... Yes, I was enjoying Frozen Bait, but I will enjoy the bubble so much more. Okay, rogues and archers, you all need to go away. Yeah, knights and lancers I can handle just fine, for the most part. Rogues and archers, they're the ones that give me the most trouble. You're saying you don't like having to deal with backstab modifiers. I mean, that's pretty much exactly it. Yes. For science! Okay, so Catalystic Tonic is probably about the worst thing I could have gotten from her, and even that isn't bad. Okay. 
There we go. See? Now, I'm once again reminded of another of another game where a character had a barrier-like attack that may, that was actually their most effective offense. I don't even know how many people are going to remember this game, but Guardian Hero is the priest character. She had a... Oh, oh, whoa! Wrong spell! Wrong spell! I thought I was throwing bubbles, and instead I throw up the I'm too fast for my shirt spell. I don't think that's what it's called. That's what I'm calling it. Come over here, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, what? You thought you could catch me off guard? Well, you know what? You're probably right in some instances, but not right now. Alright. Through the wall, through the wall. Yay, yeah, I did it! But yeah, when, if, when using that character, if you used her barrier spell right when the enemy was just up against the edge, like against the wall of the arena you were fighting in, you would just juggle them off the hook. Huh? Juggle them, like, against the wall so hard that they would essentially evaporate. And by the way, no, I never did own a Sega Saturn. I played the Xbox Live Arcade remake of Guardian Heroes. Well, why didn't you own a Sega Saturn? Eh? Well, you know, when you're... when you can only afford so much at a time, you have to... Uh, you have to choose your priorities, and my priority at the time was the Nintendo 64. Some of you may may say that I made the wrong choice in comparison to the PlayStation, but I don't know. I think both systems had something going for them. Plus, I was never big on the whole console wars thing. I, I don't really understand the point. The point of it. The only thing that's gonna do that's going to drastically change between consoles is exclusives. And in my opinion, when it comes to the exclusivity wars, Nintendo pretty much, in my opinion, has that on lock. Now, that means that what Nintendo really needs to focus on is their third-party support. Because you can have the best exclusives in the world, and, you know, fact, matter of fact, they do, if you ask me. But you gotta be able to follow that up with with good third-party support, otherwise, you, otherwise it doesn't make much of a difference. That's... Oh, I'm poisoned! Fuck. Yeah, you dagger-wielding dick. Um, sweet. Bouncing bubble upgrade. wonder if that was another thing that just kind of subtly changes. It's more likely that she'll now have something that you can use more effectively. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of just a direct effect of having more options in the shop, if you ask me, is you'll more often than not get your spells upgraded properly. Alright, I like Mirror Shield, we'll take that. Uh, ooh, hello Vessa. 135? Hold on, I'll be back. Oh wait, I'm not sure if I can. Well, I will try. Alright, I will try. Because I've already I've already made my point about fairy helpers. You take care of them, they take care of you. All right, that worked out wonderfully. Thank you, Mirror Shield. 
No, I can't. Oh well. Sorry, Vessa. Honestly, she wouldn't have been that effective in the next area anyway. Mmm. That's good lemon lie. The old pun lord of stone here. Once again, I keep thinking that the bubbles are on right are on right bumper, and they're not. Ah, evade chance kicked in for once. Ha. I don't know how I blocked that, but okay. All right, beautiful. Hey, the cactus! Ooh, I likes me the cactus. I'll put that over you. All right. Now what I would like is something like Analytical Monocle or something that'll boost my critical hit rate. God, I hate rogues. I didn't even see him move, just all of a sudden, oh, he's right at your hip shanking you. You like shivs in your hip, right? That's, that's how you get by every day. And you, I respond, I respond to the game's claim that I like this by saying, look, I don't remember telling you about my personal fetishes, and I would appreciate it if you got out of my head. Also, I'm a much bigger fan of ice cream, not shivs. How are you not dead? Wow. They just had, like, enhanced health for no reason. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Um... Not seeing anything here that would be any more effective than what I already have, so... Onwards with me. Take a little shortcut here. Does it matter, Danny never taking a shortcut? Ah, why'd I do that to myself? Now I want to go watch Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Okay, that was obviously overdoing it, but you know what? I had a good time overdoing it. No, you go away. Also, I just remembered, I have the Battery of Tyrannus, so maybe Thunder Drop is a good choice. Then again, so is Permafrost Cube, so, um, you know, options and all that. With so many things that strike multiple times, I should have a pretty easy time controlling the battlefield. Hi, Osa, what do you have? Adorable Mimic. Okay, what could I stand to give up for the Adorable Mimic? Because I... Oh, this is new. What are you? Strongman's Hammer. Increases damage and cooldowns for each enemy defeated. So, wait, does that count when you pick it up? Like, does it only count for each enemy after this? Does it count all the enemies I've slayed beforehand? I'm gonna say that's one of those things you want early, because that's typically how they work. Alright, so... Things that I want to hold on to. A 
Here we go. <laughs> and because it now counts itself, that's just an overall plus 15. Here we go. So that was a change to adorable mimic that was made in this most recent patch too, is that when you when you take it, not only does it count the relics that were sacrificed, it also now counts itself, which I don't know, I guess I just thought it did that anyway, but I guess I would know. So ghost goes to show what I know. Look at Dark Sage Walker over here trying to use common sense. Come on. Who in the world uses uses common sense anymore? You're, you're just ridiculous, you know that? Well, that worked. Sure glad I did that. Excuse me, sir. I would appreciate it if you stopped doing that. Stop doing what, exactly? It's like he's saying he doesn't want me to breathe. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm getting at. But, I mean, also, you're a, ma you're a magically conjured construct of, of pure energy, so I don't know what emotion you have towards this. You know what? Magically constructed... Con Magically built constructs have feelings too, you know. Pretty sure the term they use there for that in 5th edition is Warforged. I don't know, like, I grew up mostly on 2nd second, second and 3rd edition, so... A lot of what happens in 5th, I'm somewhat unfamiliar with. So. I don't mean to be rude, it's just... It's just where, where, I, where I was trained. Oh, I used the wrong spell. Damn it. We're gonna show off Vortex Veil and just have him walk into it like a dummy, and then I was like, alright, here we go. Where's my Vortex Veil? Damn it, that's bubbles! Fucking bubbles! I don't understand how, how I keep making that same mistake so often, and yet I, do, and yet I still do so well playing this game. It's like, I constantly get... Me you get buttons and spell commands mixed up, and yet somehow I, I've managed to go this long winning most of my runs. Which, by the way, quick update on that, by the way. Um, I did recently, I, while I was uploading my Monster Train video, I did a second run of Monster Train and actually won that run. So, I definitely feel as though I'm... It's going to be one of those games that speaks to me. It doesn't mean I'm going to be, like, the best player ever at it. At least not without some practice. But I do feel as though it's a game that definitely speaks to speaks to the things that I like. And I'm going to very much enjoy playing it. I'm still unsure as to whether or not I want to do a series on it. Mostly because each run of that game is just so long. So let me, let me know in the comments what you guys think about about me doing a series on Monster Train. I like the game, I'm just not sure it's good YouTube material just because of the length of the runs. Oh look! Permafrost Bulwark is back to try to make me reconsider. Well, I'm sorry, booby, but you had your chance. All you do is force me to sit still and wait for retaliation. I don't know. I don't go. I don't. I don't play like that. Also, I no longer have a unicorn head, so hold on. I had to fix that. Sorry, I didn't want to look. I didn't want to look like I was like I was from Blade Runner. So, all right. I like the unicorn head. What can I say? 
We've all got our preferences, yeah. Nah, I don't want all my other damage decreased, sorry. I might take the Horned Halo. I don't really feel like I need it, but at the same time, a little bit of a little bit of insurance never hurts. Especially since level 3 Zeal does move as quickly as she does. It could just be a little bit of insurance. But do I need that insurance? Would it even really be of, of any major value to me? Haha! Come on over, guys. The winds are nice and ripping. Um, excuse me. Yeah, by the way, that's how most runs are lost in this game, is when the enemies just dogpile you like that. You want to try to avoid avoid having that happen as much as possible, but sometimes the game just says, just says, Oh, whoops, I guess your spell didn't activate in time. I guess we're just going to take most of your health now. Whoopsie poopsie. I just kind of nod and I say, Remember game, I still win most of my runs. Of course, I'm not, I'm not gonna win them like that. Do I feel like I need the insurance? Not necessarily. What I need is just straight up health. So, not surprisingly, we're gonna go buy a health potion. Alright, I kind of feel like I'm back in this now. Alright, when one room just sneaks up on me and just hits me right in the face like that, yeah, it kind of throws my groove off a little bit. Yeah, because she resists wind, that doesn't it's not gonna do as much damage as I would like. Oh hey, yeah, maybe I shouldn't get greedy. Get out of there, so it's gonna be a four cycle fight. It's a little slow for how I typically fight these bosses, but at the same time, I was aware that this one was gonna be a little difficult. And I guess in this case, a little difficult translates into she hit me two times. The horror. There we go. I like how you I like how for this like enemy rush you you still get the boss music too. It's just a it's just very fitting for this little challenge portion. Yeah, I was not a very well-placed cactus dancer, I admit. I think it's called Prickly Ballet. Yeah, you call it Prickly Ballet, I call it, well, Prickly Ballet, but also cactus dancer, so shut up.
All right, that's the first time in a long time I've gotten through that without taking without taking a bunch of damage. All right, so I think for my build, Dice of the Nemesis is a must. All right, and I think we're good. All right, Sura, let's go. I like how he attacks, how he attacks there just by, just by lifting his armpits, he's like, you will understand the funk. He's like, yeah, I understand it all right. Really, I'm, I don't normally say this, but Old Spice Man, use it. Alright, that was quick. Alright, Dice of the Nemesis hasn't kicked in yet, but hey, who knows. Nope. One, two, three. Alright, that was a lot of hits. Yet he still seems to be more or less, uh, more or less okay. I mean, yes, Vortex Veil is how you do a shield right. I love Vortex Veil. I will, I will gladly take Vortex Veil. Just in, in, if you find it just as a random Arcana, you definitely take Vortex Veil. Permafrost Bulwark. I mean. You pretty much treat it like I treated it when I saw it. You just look at it and you go, <laughs> Is that what you think we're doing? There you go. See, I felt almost entirely in command that entire run. Aside from when I got curb stomped. So, sorry if I gave you a, the false impression that I might lose that run. I really shouldn't be so overconfident. It's not like I never lose runs at this game. And as you saw with Permafrost Bulwark, I almost did lose. And that would be because and I figured this I figured this out and even though I know it, it it is at least in part on my timing of the spell. There's also the idea that with Permafrost Bulwark, you are pretty much left open right as the spell ends. So anything that can hit you from afar, anything that manages to miss your burst of ice, yeah, you just get hammered afterwards. Like I said, it's just like when Hero uses Kaklang. So my ultimate advice, just don't use that. You know, if... <laughs> If you're not stupid, you will go far. <laughs> you can live in happiness too. Like the Oompa Loompa Doobity Doo. Sorry, I've just been watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Anyway, that's all for me. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do all the YouTube stuff. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing some more Monster Train runs, even with how long the runs are in that game. And I'll be back with some more stuff in the near future. Till then, my name is Dark Sage Walker. I'll be seeing you.